Why you come to this place? Not simply to hide. Oh, you have a purpose here. Perhaps you are protecting something. No. Protecting someone. Darth Maul, the Phantom Menace himself, easily one of the most recognizable faces in Star Wars, with his iconic double-bladed lightsaber and fearsome looking tattoos. And arguably, he is one of the most tragic figures in all of Star Wars, and was fully brought to life by both Ray Park in the films and Sam Witwer in both the Clone Wars and Star Wars Rebels animated series. What's up guys, it's your boy Lordology here, and in today's video, I'm going to be choosing and ranking my top 10 favourite Darth Maul mods for Battlefront 2. This is a continuation of my top 10 mod series for Battlefront 2, as so far I've already covered top 10 mod videos for Anakin, Darth Vader, and Obi-Wan, for which I'll leave links in the description if you guys would like to check those videos out. Like most of the mods that I feature on the channel, all character mods are in fact multiplayer safe, except mods that change abilities and animations, which does run the risk of getting yourself banned if you choose to play online. And with all that out of the way, let's jump into it. Now coming in at number 10, and the newest mod on this list, is the Jedi Maul mod. This mod brings to life the concept art of Jedi Maul from the cancelled Battlefront 4, and is just another reminder of how much content the devs missed out on adding to the game. And despite the fact I find Maul without his tattoos to be absolutely terrifying, I really enjoy playing as Maul with a blue lightsaber, and custom outfit that surprisingly, I actually think suits him quite well. And of course, I would definitely recommend using a Dorkable Elf's Clone Wars audio enhancement for the terrifying Jedi Maul for the best experience overall. Coming in at number 9, we have Nightmare Maul. And contrary to the Jedi Maul mod, which will give me nightmares, this mod is actually quite pleasant. The Nightmare Maul mod alters his horns to be more accurate to the films, as well as adding Ray Park's earring, which is also a really cool touch. Along with the custom outfit and really cool looking belt and glowing yellow eyes, this version of Darth Maul is just awesome, and is easily one of the most visually pleasing mods on this list. With this mod, I would also make use of the screen accurate lightsabers, Darth Maul's audio enhancement, PAX 4K lightsabers, and the Battlefront 2 remastered mods, for the best overall experience when playing as this version of Darth Maul. Now coming in at number 8 is the Crazed Brother mod. Man, there was a lot of love put into this one, and visually, this mod is fantastic. And basically, this mod gives us two custom appearances, one of which is the one I'm showcasing in this video, which is the custom Clone Wars Season 4 appearance for Darth Maul, and the second being a Legends-inspired skin for Darth Maul, with changes to Darth Maul's body, head and lightsaber that looks awesome in game and is definitely worth trying out if you guys are looking for a very unique high quality version of Darth Maul and I would recommend using the screen accurate lightsabers mod but not the PAX 4k mod because then it would override the custom lightsaber that's included in the full mod package. Now coming in at number 7 is the Crimson Dawn Maul mod. Now most Star Wars fans will probably recognize this mod from the solo film which wasn't bad by any means, but easily one of the best aspects of the film is Darth Maul's appearance. And for a lot of fans that didn't watch the Clone Wars, Maul's reveal in Solo would have been how people found out he was alive. So it definitely has some significance. But anyway, this mod does a fantastic job of recreating Ray Park's likeness from the film, and the outfit is absolutely spot on, and makes it a joy to play with, especially on the original trilogy maps in Battlefront 2. Add in the PAX 4K lightsabers, screen accurate lightsabers, and movie audio enhancement mods, and you guys will be in for a great time. Coming in at number 6 is the Phantom Overlord mod. This appearance for Darth Maul is taken directly from the Siege of Mandalore in Season 7 of the Clone Wars TV series, where Darth Maul faces off against Ahsoka, which interestingly is considered as one of the best on-screen lightsaber fights of all time, at least according to some of my family members. I see the Padawan. One last lesson. The mod itself actually looks like it belongs in Battlefront 2 and doesn't look out of place at all, and this is an appearance that definitely should have been added to the game, as personally, I think it looks better than the vanilla Old Master appearance. Like any Clone Wars theme mods, I would recommend pairing this with any audio enhancement mod made by a Dorkable Elf if you guys would like to hear all of Sam Witwer's lines, and for good measure, make sure to add the screen accurate lightsabers mod and any other Clone Wars theme mods available online. 
Coming in at number 5 is the Phantom Menace mod. Now for this particular appearance, I kind of cheated a bit, since I've used several mods to get as close to Darth Maul's appearance as possible on Tatooine, specifically from the first prequel film, with the first being the hooded Darth Maul mod, much like the Phantom Overlord mod, this is an appearance that absolutely should have been in the game. The second mod is the Single Blade for Darth Maul mod, since in the first fight against Qui-Gon and Tatooine, Darth Maul is both hooded and has only activated a single blade on his double-bladed lightsaber. So these mods work in tandem with each other, and on top of the movie audio enhancement, PAX 4K lightsabers and screen accurate lightsabers mods, which brings everything together for a great way to recreate the films in Battlefront 2. Now coming in at number 4, we have the Twin Suns mod, which is also called the Improved Old Master mod. Basically, this mod improves upon and changes many aspects of Maul's appearance to look as close to his Star Wars Rebels appearance as possible, specifically during the Twin Suns episode in Season 3. In my mind's eye, Kenobi. Kenobi! This mod changes Maul's face mesh and textures with custom legs in the style of Star Wars Rebels, with weathered lightsaber textures and movie accurate horns and earring to bring together one of Maul's most iconic appearances to Battlefront 2. And as many fans know, this is the outfit he has on when he faces off against old Ben Kenobi for the last time. Now coming in at number 3, we have the Twilight of the Apprentice mod, which brings to life how Maul appeared during Season 2 of Star Wars Rebels when he teams up with Ezra in the Sith Temple. Everything from the legs, outfit, tattoos, face and horns looks super well detailed with this mod and it does a fantastic job of recreating Maul's appearance from arguably one of the best arcs in Star Wars Rebels. This mod is also great when paired with the Rebels Overhaul which is a collection of mods that replaces all of the heroes and villains in game with characters strictly from Star Wars Rebels which I do have featured here on the channel and pairs really well with this awesome version of Maul. And also keep in mind you're going to want to make use of Adorkable Elf's audio enhancement to make sure Maul is actually saying his lines from Star Wars Rebels. Now coming in at number 2 is the Cyborg Legs Maul mod. This appearance for Maul was after his crazed brother appearance and before his Phantom Overlord appearance in the Clone Wars TV series when Mother Towson used her magic voodoo to heal Maul's mind and body. Surrender. We are two, and you are no match for us both. You are mistaken. Now this mod has made so many different changes, including longer horns that are accurate to the show, editing his face shape, adding an earring, Maul's rig has been scaled to make him taller than Vader, as well as sound effects for Maul's running animation that's been replaced with Grievous' sound effects. Much like many of the mods on this list, Cyborg Legs Maul should have been in Battlefront 2 and is just another painful reminder of what this game could have been. Now coming in at number 1 and my personal favourite Darth Maul mod is the Mandalore Maul mod, which gives Darth Maul his appearance from Season 5 of The Clone Wars where he takes over all of Mandalore and kills Duchess Satine, which is easily one of my favourite story arcs from the show. We meet again, Kenobi. Welcome to my world. Take them back to the palace. The mod also gives Maul two lightsabers, one of which is his single red saber from the Clone Wars, and the other is the dark saber that actually comes with custom sound effects that sounds absolutely fantastic in game. Paired with the Clone Wars audio enhancement, screen accurate lightsabers, instant action overhaul, and the create your own hero mods, brings one of the best appearances for Darth Maul to Battlefront 2. And above all the other Darth Maul mods, this is the one that I'm always returning to for how much fun it is to play with in Battlefront 2. And that comes to the end of this top 10 Darth Maul mod list. And now I want to hear from you guys. Do you guys agree with my top 10 list? Or are there any other Darth Maul mods that you guys think deserves a mention? As there is so many great ones available. Either way, let me know in the comments. And I would also like to give a big thank you to my channel members for supporting my content, as it's thanks to you fine folks that make these videos possible. And if you guys would like to support my content, then consider becoming a member. And if not, then consider giving the video a like and subscribing if you want to see more content like this. With all that being said, I hope all of you fine folks have a wonderful day. Be sure to drink lots of water and get some sleep, and I'll be sure to catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.